babies it's your girl paris simone or whatever and today we are going to talk about breakups and how to move on from a breakup and the whole healing process um because i just want to give y'all some tips on that it's like one of the hardest things you might ever go through and i feel like videos like this are very comforting um especially hearing it from someone who has been through it and is going through it um i feel like it makes the process a little bit easier so let's get into it okay so when you're going through a breakup honestly the best thing to do and the first thing to do is cry it out when you go to bed cry when you wake up cry when you take a shower cry when you're eating ice cream cry literally let yourself cry it out i feel like a lot of the times we try to suppress our emotions and act like we don't care and we're like no i'm not gonna let myself cry i'm not gonna let myself cry she did this he did this i'm not gonna let myself cry over that no, you loved that person, you cared about that person, you were with that person for a long time and they got to know you, you got to know them. It's normal to be sad about what's happening, like your heart is breaking and that's fine and it should. That shows that you're human and you have feelings. But with this, I always see people posting themselves crying or posting sad quotes or posting sad songs so that that person sees that they're sad and like hopefully they'll come back to me if they see that I'm hurting they'll feel bad they'll regret what happened and they'll want to reach out they'll want to be with me if I show them that I'm sad no they won't <laughs> that is just reassuring them that you care and that's not gonna make them come back it's gonna actually make it longer for them to come back because they have nothing to worry about you're still thinking about them you're still stressed about them what do they need to come back to when you're not gone another thing it is very important to have someone to cry to don't just cry by yourself like find a friend that you can cry to that relates to you don't get a friend that's gonna tell you you need to stop crying over them blah, blah, blah. have that friend that lets you cry and lets you feel those emotions and tells you that it's fine and lets you talk about them have a friend that is there to support you throughout this whole process because it is really hard you're not gonna get over them for a very long time and for those first couple months to maybe even a year you're gonna constantly talk about them everything is gonna remind you of them you're gonna talk about them a lot and it's gonna be annoying to the friend it is so you need a friend who is patient <laughs> and understands what you're going through and allows you to just express that make sure it's only with people who you trust your ex's friends are not your friends if you met them through him or they're still friends with him or her afterwards they're not your friends because they're just going to go back to that person and tell them oh they were talking about you this is what they said this is how they feel they're not doing better only talk to your specific friends about it friends that you trust will keep it between you and them you also don't need anyone who is caught up with their business and is going to come back to you and tell them oh they met someone new they're talking to this person oh they're doing fine like they're good oh they were talking about you the other day that's not healthy and it's not going to make you move on it's going to make you want to know more and every time you hear their name your heart is going to sink okay this is a rule that i have for myself and i feel like it really helps i know for a fact that it helps um but it is hard to do it's hard for a lot of people to do this but block them on everything and i don't mean that they have to be blocked forever but until you can emotionally handle like not looking to see if they liked your post or if they saw i just spit on my lip if they saw your story or try to think about what they're gonna think when they see this post like you need to post for yourself if you're gonna post on social media if you're gonna post a cute picture it needs to be because you wanted to post a cute picture not because you want what's the name to see it like who cares if they saw it i block friends i block family members i will block your grandma your mom your auntie your three-year-old sister i don't care everybody's getting blocked your dog they're blocked yeah because i don't want to see anything that reminds me of you and when i feel like emotionally i'm over it enough i'll unblock you um and i feel like the reason why people have such a hard time doing this is because they think that they want that person to see them doing good trust me it doesn't matter the gender of this person they will stalk your page whether they're blocked or not they will make another account if they don't already have one and they will stalk your page i feel like a lot of the times girls think oh but he's a guy he doesn't care that much no baby <laughs> He is going to make a fake page or he's going to have his friends lurk through your things until he gets over it. Like literally, it does not matter. He is going to know what you're doing. He is going to be updated. 
the next thing is go out okay you took your time to cry you've been at home in your bed for a couple weeks and that's fine take that time to be completely depressed it's normal you should okay you just went through a loss basically that's fine but now it's time to get up take a shower do your makeup brush your hair brush your teeth get out of the house whether you're by yourself or with your friends get out go for a walk in the morning like just get some fresh air and breathe like get to know new people and i don't necessarily mean like get to know new people to be in a relationship with i don't think that you should distract yourself with other relationships because it really won't help you'll put yourself in a situation where you'll be getting to know a new person and then still go to bed crying at night because that person isn't them and you know for a fact it isn't them and it hurts you know um so for a couple months take that time to just heal get to know yourself i feel like a lot of the times we don't want to be alone so we allow ourselves to settle and then we wonder why we're always in these toxic relationships over and over and over again not progressing it's because you haven't given yourself the time to truly heal and figure out what you did wrong in the relationship figure out what you really want from someone do the things that you like to do without having to have somebody else's opinion on what they want to do or what they want you to do learn about yourself love yourself okay the next thing is my favorite thing and is one of the biggest things that personally helped me work on yourself work on your career okay um if you have goals like you have career goals that you want to meet, you have dreams that you want to make come true, work towards that. Work your butt off towards those things. These are healthy distractions, okay? We talked about getting in other relationships after a relationship. That's not a healthy distraction. Um, that'll make you relapse in wanting that person. But working on your career and seeing yourself progress in something that is simply and truly and only just for you and to better you, that is what is truly going to help you heal and make you feel so much better. Just focus on yourself. If you want to, you know, go to the gym and work out, go to the gym and work out. And working out after a breakup is so, so good for you. And it has nothing to do with your appearance. It honestly is just so good for your brain, you know, like working out, going for a walk, going for a run that releases all that emotion, all that sweat. Like it's releasing all that emotion and anxiety that you're feeling because of that breakup. Um, so do it just for your mental health, not even just for your body. You should love your body no matter what state it's in um, because you're absolutely beautiful guy or girl. Okay, and with all of this, the most important thing is to allow yourself to go through every emotion, okay? There are days where you're going to be so sad, and you're going to miss them so much, and you're going to want to cry, and everything's going to make you cry, everything's going to hurt, okay? Then there's days that you're going to feel perfectly fine, and you're going to be like, wow, I think I'm over them, like I didn't think about them as much today, like I heard that sad song that I always cried to, and I didn't cry today, like I think I'm over them, and you're going to have a really good day, and it's going to be great, you're going to think everything's fine. And then the next day is going to come around and you're going to feel horrible again and you're going to want to cry again. You're going to be like, dang, I thought I was over them. Like, it's been months. Like, why am I still crying? It's fine. Like, that's supposed to happen. Allow yourself to let that happen. Because if you don't allow yourself to feel that emotion and cry it out, it's going to take you a lot longer to heal. Okay? Then you're going to feel anger. You're going to hate that person. Like, you might wish death on that person. Like, and that's bad. And that's really bad. Take it back after you do it. But you are going to hate that person. You're going to be like, you know what? I hate them. I hate them. Like, why Why do they even get to, like, be happy? Um, And allow yourself to feel that emotion. You're also, for the beginning of the breakup, you're going to feel a lot of denial. Okay? You're not even going to realize that you guys actually broke up. And that's what's really going to mess with you. Like, you're going to wake up and they're not going to be on the phone and you're not going to have that good morning text and it's going to be like, what is going on? Like, you're going to feel like you're still with them. Like, it's going to be hard to get to know other people. Like, I know for me personally, it was so weird talking to other guys afterwards because I was like, still in my head, I'm still loyal to this person. You know what I mean? So I was just like getting to know another guy and I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so you're going to have that denial of not being able to talk to them. And you'll get to a point where sometimes you'll miss that person, but you'll realize that you don't want to be with that person. Like, you'll be like, damn, I kind of, I miss them. Like, I, I do miss them. I miss, you know, getting to talk to them. But do I want to be with them? No, I want to experience someone new. Like, 
I really, if I could be so in love with this person who hurt me so bad, I can't imagine how much I love the person who actually loves me back and actually deserves me. And you'll come to a point where you miss them, but you know for a fact if they came to your door and begged for you to go back with them, you would never because you're not on that level you're not on that vibration anymore because you took that time to heal and you took that time to yourself to learn and to raise your standards and that feeling is acceptance you'll kind of just accept like we're broken up i can't text them i can't call them i can't um be with them i can't hang out with them i can't cry to them i can't and that's fine i'm okay I have friends now that I can go cry to and that I can text and that I can have these inside jokes with. Um, friends are going to be very important with the healing process. I have like the most amazing friends in the world and family members in the world. And I have like a best friend who literally was going through the same thing as I was going through it. And it literally helped me so much. I had a couple best friends that were going through this a breakup. Literally the same time that I went through a breakup, they were going through a breakup especially if you're in a relationship i feel like for me personally when i was in a relationship i didn't want to hang out with my friends i only wanted to hang out with that person and so i didn't really get to have other people around me you know and when i started you know hanging out with just my friends and meeting new people and talking to other girls about my situation instead of just talking to this guy all the time it was just like uh you understand me like you get me you relate to me you respect me you're not going to manipulate me into thinking someone else you agree with what i'm thinking like i'm not crazy like oh my god like <laughs> it's the best feeling in the world and then you get to go out and hang out with these people and if they're going through the same thing as you it makes it even better because they're not going to tell you to stop talking about this person they're not going to make you feel bad or stupid for crying because they get it the last thing that I'm going to say about breakups is, or healing from a breakup, is that there is no time frame, okay? You're not just going to get over them in a week. You're not just going to go get over them in a month. You're not just going to get over them in a year. It's going to take time. Now, you will have better days. You'll have a lot more happy days as time goes on. You'll meet a lot more people that fill in that missing space that they, you know, had. Um and you will feel better day by day you will feel better and then some days you'll cry and then one day you won't cry over them anymore um you'll have other things to cry about i remember like the first time i cried over something that wasn't about that person and i was like wait am i crying about another guy oh my god like oh my god like, like i'm not crying over him i'm crying about this boy like wait and it was just like this moment where I just felt so good. Like, I'm not crying over them anymore. There's other things in my life that are more important than this boy now or than this girl now. And I feel good about crying over the fact that they didn't give me enough sauce for my chicken nuggets. Like, wow. Like, <laughs> um, And if you're going through a breakup, which you probably are since you're watching this video, please know that there is someone who is going to love you so much more than that last person. Okay. If this person was so great, and you love them so much and they still weren't even doing as much as they should have been imagine how much you're gonna love the person who does do even more than they should even more than they need to you know um and it does exist you will love again i remember like thinking like i there's no way i'm gonna meet someone and have this connection with them again and there are multiple people that i've met that i've had a stronger connection with it let me know like wow there are people out there that are better than my ex, like that make me feel better than my ex, that I connect to more than my ex. Um, and you'll feel that and it's going to feel really, really good. And you're going to be completely fine. It's going to be fine. Let yourself cry. Watch YouTube videos. But get out. Get out of the house and breathe. Even if you just sit on your the corner of your street like, and just are looking at the sky, like, do it. Do whatever you can to get out the house. Um... And take your time clean your room because i know your room is dirty okay and depression room is a real thing and it's fine we all go through it clean your room get up okay get up and clean your room <laughs> put on some podcasts some vlogs whatever clean your room even if it's a section at a time it's fine clean your room okay take a shower wash your hair if you're crying while you do it that is fine 
but please do it okay also my dms are always open you guys can dm me you can comment below i will respond i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys so much and i'm here for you and i care about you and you matter to me okay i love you babies bye